Welcome. We are here today, and it is Thanksgiving Day. Yes, it is. And uh, what a beautiful day to be ripping. It's a solid, like, 30 degrees out. Yeah, we're pretty cold. Anyways, we're here with the Aruba Racing Team. Yes, it is a legit team. Here's our flag. Pretty legit. Looks pretty cool, right? So we're out here today. We have our, our pals, our buddy, all black, with the orange bike, the KTM XC250. And then our other buddy here with the Honda CRF 250. And then I'm here with the least powerful bike of all of us. I have the Kawasaki KDX 200. Anyways, we're out here today, and uh, we're going on a full loop run. So, we, uh, I'm going to show you what it's all about here on my GoPro footage. And uh, in the meantime, let's get back to the Aruba Racing Team. Now, we're up here in the northeast of the United States of America, and um, you wonder, how the heck did we get this name? Well, I'm not going to tell you this episode. There's going to be a part two to this, and uh, some comments below, then I will um, definitely tell you guys what it's all about and how we got the name and everything like that. Now, I also want to tell you about the background of the Ruby Racing Team. Now, in the past, you have seen... Our buddy here, Super Mud Muppet, who was riding a KTM 250 XC. He's been on a lot of my commentary episodes here in the past, and uh, he is just a ripper. He is uh, has raced a lot of the off-road racing uh, events here in the Northeast. Um, those include the Netra um, Racing, J-Day Off-Road Racing, and GNCC Racing. Uh, he's a straight ripper, and uh, he is... He's just crazy. He's he's a great rider. Um, our other guy, his his name is um, well, we like to call him J Man, basically. And uh, he has has also done a couple of GNCCs in the past. He's also done a couple of JDA off roads, and I think he's done one or two uh, Nature events as well. Now as me, I have done a couple of JDA off road series. Um, events and I am currently looking at getting a new bike to race for next season, the 2018 season. So stay tuned to that because I'll probably have some GoPro footage for that. But let's get back to the history of a river racing team. Now, with all of these three guys, we um, we're a good team. We live about 15 minutes away from each other, so we like to ride about once a week and uh, just have a good time, push each other to the limits, and uh, just have a lot of fun. So. Um, yeah, just a lot of fun. This is one of our one of our more popular locations here that we like to ride. This is at Super Mud Muppet's house and J Man's house. Now, those guys are brothers, and um, which is even cooler added to the team. Now we are a legit team. Um, we even on my graphics, on my phone on graphics, we have the Ruger Racing Team logo right on it. So if you're ever at a JD uh, event or Natra or GNCC, um, look at the swing arms. Um, you might see our, our, our logo. If so, cheer us on. That'd be great. So we're out here today and it's Thanksgiving like uh, like I said. And um, what better way to spend it than to, than to rip. So I haven't been on the bike in about five weeks now. I've been away at college. And um, figured that when I came home for Thanksgiving break, it's probably a good time to, to start ripping again. Now, our season for racing is over with, so we're kind of screwing around and having a good time today. We're not really pushing ourselves to limit by any means. Um, you know, not really training that much. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. We're going to enjoy life. So, we've got a lot in store for you guys. Uh, normally on the commentaries, we just kind of like burn laps and uh, enjoy and uh, really push ourselves but today we got a lot of different action coming to you this, uh, today so stay, stay tuned it's going to be really fun well we're getting towards the end of this lap and we meet up with the boys and we decided that we're going down to the river section part of this track with this we have a jump down low and here's a good example of what it will do to you Just crazy. Uh, he he sends it. So it's my turn. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, really good. I gave it so much gas that I didn't even get off the ground. And just to show you that I did not get off the ground, I didn't have any gas, I stole the bike. Yeah, shows you how good of a rider I am, right? So as I'm sitting there, all of a sudden I hear this two-stroke. And I see him coming flying up. And I see him in midair. 
and he's got and he's doing a little endo. I'm like, holy crap. So yeah, he was asking me how tilted he got in the air, and I showed him. Anyways, after going on the jump, we go down to the turn part of the sec, uh, turn part of the track. Now this section is really meant for turning and handling um, of your bike. So I haven't been on here in a while, so I for, kind of forget where where everything was. So you'll see right here, I totally missed this this rut, and I get her stuck. I pop her in neutral by accident. I'm like, jeepers, creepers, what is going on today? Anyways. I get it unstuck, and I'm going to show you the proper way of how this turn track is supposed to go. Pretty fun track. So now we make our way to the endurance section. So the endurance section has a lot of um, different obstacles in it, whether it be big rocks, um, big culvert pipes, uh, tires, everything in between. Now, honestly, I've never ridden this part, and I probably should have. Uh, this is part of a lot of our jaded off-road events. So anyways, I'm going. I have no clue where the heck I'm going. Again, this head through center. And then all of a sudden, I see this culvert pipe. Now, watch this. Yeah, so it didn't really work out too well for me. And uh, I kind of get the bike off of the culvert pipe. Let the other two guys take take a shot at it, see what they got, and uh, show me up. This is how it's really supposed to be done right here. Yeah, getting that Honda going. It's looking good. And uh, coming out with the KTM, watch this. So, yeah, and they really made me look like I did not know what I was doing on that culvert pipe. And guess what? I did it. Anyways. So, we're out here, and uh, it's been about two hours at this point, and uh, it's Thanksgiving, like I said, and man, we're getting hungry. So, we decided after about two hours of riding, having fun, enjoying life, that it's time to go eat some turkey. And uh, so, we send it back to the house, and um, it's been, uh, it was a really good ride. Uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Tune in for part two coming up here pretty pretty soon. Thanks for watching again. Like and subscribe for more. Have a good day, guys.